Ooh, gosh, it's hot. Uh, it is coming up 8.30 in the morning uh, on Monday and we are checking out today. Just gonna take the dinghy in, go to Government House and uh, we're also gonna get a moped so that we can get down to customs a little bit quicker. Our last day in Funafuti. forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. We have cleared out from immigration, left the beautifully air-conditioned office with some reluctance and we are now going to get on the, uh, the mean machine and go down to customs to complete our clearance. Here's the mean machine. Mind you the speed limit is only 20 kilometers an hour maximum so right I'll be getting on then eh? And the brakes don't really work by the way. Awesome! Can't wait! Here we go. I'm hitting the top speed limit. We are celebrating the 132 anniversary of the November. Okay. This is called the, the happiest day of the Waikuku community here in Tuvalu. So there are two communities at the moment entertaining the Kwaatele, what we call now the dancing. Yeah. So the other side is the Tumaseu community and we are the, the Asau, Asau community. Wow. Cool. So there will be more uh, we stayed around for another hour, just watching the locals singing and dancing and generally having a wonderful time before continuing on to customs to complete our checkout. Great singing. Customs now then? Customs. And then clear out. Cool. Let's do it. Okay. How are you? So we are officially cleared out of Tuvalu. Yes. So we've got a cruisy rest of day. We're not actually leaving until tomorrow morning, but they're pretty okay about that. So. We had an excellent final day in Funafuti. Tuvalu is a truly magical place. There is a rich history and culture which is celebrated along with a laid-back island lifestyle. We have found that it is the people that make a place truly special. Tuvalu, with its friendly and helpful townsfolk, is one of those places, and we had a wonderful stay in this beautiful country. It is nine o'clock. We've spent the last two hours uh, getting the boat ready. Just doing our final checks, having a bit of brekkie, using up the last of our internet, and that's it. We're done, we're gone. We're gonna lift the anchor and head for the Northern Pass and start our trip northwards to Kiribati. Bye, 440. We're away. We are. Wending our way through the fishing fleet. And out through the pass. That's the sail up then. Yay! First time in a month. Still remember how to do it. I wonder how many sail changes we'll do between now and Kiribati. We should make a note like professional sailors. Yeah, we should actually. We don't think we've really done that much. We should pretend we know crossings. what we're doing on this trip. Do you think? We should see if we can actually sail on this trip. Break the habit of a lifetime. We've got six knots of breeze at the moment. Yeah, I know. Hey ho, sail's up. This is just to make us visible rather than any other practical reason. <laughs> and we're just approaching the pass out of Funafuti Lagoon. It's going to get down to about seven meters going through, so Rob's going to be on the front. Can you do your dolphin song, please? Dance or song? Either, don't care. Sing. 
can't wiggle. A dolphin dance is fine. Just a wee bit of current. Right, almost through. Depth coming back now. So here comes the deep blue. Keep everyone up to speed on what we cook actually on passage. We're rolling along at the heady speed of about two and a half knots at the moment. Bit of a roll going on, but everything's quite calm. So today for lunch Monday, I have made a salad because we've got quite a lot of fresh stuff on board uh, with lettuce and carrot, can of sweet corn, um, a green pepper, and some buja mix. Because Rob likes buja mix, so I've thrown that in. And I'm frying off some breadfruit and some chili and some garlic. So lunch is served. We normally it's nice on passage. We have all of our meals out here. Yeah. Have a quick scout on the horizon to make sure there are no boats around. Yeah. And then we sit and enjoy meals together. Well, when we're both awake at the same time. This is only day one, so... We're both awake. <laughs> so, Mr B, coming up to our first sunset. How's yes. your day been? Uh, good, actually. Super chill. But we saw some spinner dolphins, got through the pass, and now we're just into our first evening. So, yeah, we're trucking along at a heady four knots and we're getting nine or ten knots of wind so it's uh, it's hopefully going to be a nice quiet engineless night night one it is uh, just gone 11 and a uh, little bit of action with the old fishing boats it's had a couple of them off to our port side uh, we have uh, forever on our starboard side radar is showing a a couple of squalls that have gone by and we've got one that is just up ahead and yeah, going well. It's 5.30 and I have got a beautiful sky. So let's just use the boom bunny, got a little bit of slop going on. Um, we're not making a bad time, we've still got about 11 knots of wind. Uh, we're chopping along somewhere between five and six and a half knots, depending on the wind speed. And like I say, it is a stunner of a morning. Check out behind me. How is that for a sunrise? Oh yeah, we've got um, a lovely green um, sea mould on our anchor bridle and this locker is adjacent to our bathroom. I've got a fly and people come in and die from there. No, no, so I'm just giving it a, a wash down now and hopefully that will help and I'll leave this open and let it just air. You all want to be careful, we haven't got smell of it yeah, it stinks. It really does stink. I'll leave you to clean up, then, eh? Thank you. Nice job with the guy, lad. Oh, yes. Good evening. It is 8.30 p.m. And my husband, who has just appeared, was down and having a sleep. And I am on the helm. And uh, I'm just keeping an eye. I've got a fishing boat just off to our starboard side here. It's quite unusual for us when we um, when we do a passage to actually see any other boats. It's normally once we uh, once we get a couple of hours off land, we don't really really see anything. Um, but both last night and tonight, we've had um, a couple of fishing boats. Um, they seem to have AIS, which is a good thing. Tonight's fishing boat has decided that he's got the whole ocean, but he's going to hug my starboard side. He looks like he's going to cut across in front of me. Um, he's close enough that I can hear his, en hear his engines running. Um, I think the joy of the waters that we're in at the moment is a lot of these islands have basically sold their souls to the, uh, the Taiwanese and the Chinese, and the fishing fleets are plying the waters. So I think we're going to come across a lot more fishing boats on the, on the way up. Not a lot else to report. We've had a beautiful day. It is a beautiful evening. The uh, sky is full of stars. Um, it's just glorious. It's a, it's a lovely, balmy evening out here. Another shot of me looking super glamorous this morning. Just getting light behind me. 
it's been a bit of a bumpy night um, the winds come round a little bit more on the nose so we are very very close hauled uh, fortunately the seas are not big the wind got up a fair bit in the night so we've got a reef in the main and a reef in the head sail which we've kept in while Rob's on his off shift and we're still getting some fairly big gusts but we're making reasonable speed we are sailing the engines aren't on but that is always a bonus and it looks like it's going to be another beautiful day we just hope we can keep the wind and keep sailing Bird is on the boat. Are you filming my booby? Yeah. He or she has just landed on the front of the boat. And uh, he's quite lovely. Having a good clean. It's not quite the easiest place to sit, I have to say, but he's uh, holding on quite tightly, so at the moment, which will be good news for you, if he does poop, it'll go for the side. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for volunteering me for that. Pink footed booby, I think. We had one before when we sell from Toronto to Fiji. It'd be interested to see if he spends the night or uh, it's just having a bit of a wash and a rest. You know, it's always lovely to have a little visitor, isn't it? It is. Is that noise I can hear? Engines are on. Pain in the ass. Yeah, no mind. Oh, not to win. What can you do? Never mind. What have you concocted for our dinner this evening? <laughs> Uh, a stir fry, okra, bean, carrot, and onion, a whole load of ginger and garlic and chili, and uh, some noodles. It looks and smells delicious. You never have too much ginger, can you, darling? So they tell me. Well, a good morning from the helm. It is 5 30, and as you can probably hear, we have an engine on. We have less than a one knot of wind at the moment. Um, but it is a stunning morning on the water. The sea is like oil and I have got the most incredible early morning light behind me. It's just beautiful out here. Our booby who joined us yesterday is still sitting on the front rail. He woke up, he or she, woke up, had a little stretch and a yawn and has just uh, tucked their head back under their wing and gone back to sleep. It's obviously decided it's a bit early. And uh, like I say, it is a stunner. Look at that. Just beautiful. Well, it's Friday lunchtime. And we have just had a delicious lunch. And listen, the engines are off. We thought we were going to have to be running them all day. We had very flaky wind this morning. But hey, the wind's come in and it's just lovely. In the sea states, we've got a big rolling ocean swell going on and it's just a delight to be out on the water champagne sailing just beautiful it's friday evening on double trouble cocktail o'clock which means it's cocktail o'clock now obviously they are virgin cocktails because we are at sea and we never indulge in alcoholic beverages whilst on passage so we are having mango cordial and fizzy water. Luxury. Because we know how to live. And not only are we having cocktails because it's Friday, we're also having curry for dinner. Yeah, chickpea curry. Because it wouldn't be Friday without a curry either, would it? Friday. Cheers. Happy Friday. Up your bum. Good morning. Good night. I've just got up, it's three o'clock, it's time for a shift change and Rob is just off to bed. Yep. Um, so yeah, what normally happens is whoever gets up has a coffee, mine's iced, it's been in the fridge, I'm necking that down now, I've just had a lovely sleep. Rob fills me in on what's been going on in his shift, what's not, been going on in your shift? Not much. Still got an no, engine running? No wind and engines on. So pretty much that's all that happens. Um, we're going to swap, you go and have a nice sleep. Yep. I'm on watch. Good night, sweet dog. Good night. See you in the morning.
I'm trying to see if we can see land. It's about 11 miles that way. And I think I can just see a little speck when the swell is right. You can just make out a slight difference on the horizon. The things that you do on a Saturday in the middle of the ocean. Well, the thing that gets me is it's frightening to think how small the islands are and how the, how close to sea level they are that you cannot see them if they're 10 miles away. That's reassuring, darling. Well, that's why we're 10 miles away. Exactly. So we've got a safe margin for that, but just imagine the, uh, the size of the atolls and the land masses. There's not much there, eh? No, like I say, the things we do on a Saturday. On the plus side, it's nearly lunchtime. It is. I don't know what we're doing for lunch. I don't know. I'm sure we'll have to speak to the chef and uh, they'll rustle something up. I'll give him a ring right now. Get a take out maybe. See what he says. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Pizza. Bring them up. Maybe they've got a shop on the island. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd got away with it. That is all in booby shit. frustrating day today. It's full of calm. We've got the engine on, but we've also had quite a lot of current against us, so at times we've been struggling to do three and a half knots. It's still a little bit frustrating. However, it is a stunner of an evening. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Check them out. Not bad, eh? stars are out in force this evening. It is beautiful out here. We've watched a lovely moonset. Had a great day today. Uh, we are on day four, I think, and uh, it is pretty calm. Uh, the wind is light, somewhat on the nose, which is slowing us a little, but uh, the conditions are wonderful. Good morning, finally sailing again. I uh, have been sailing for the last couple of hours with the engines off. And we're making really good time. The, uh, the wind has filled in. We've been uh, cracking along in about six, six-ish knots. So we'll take that. Uh, what is happening a wee bit later this afternoon? We are crossing the equator for the first time on DT. So we're going to be go officially become shellbacks. Uh, no longer will we be polywogs going from the southern hemisphere to the northern hemisphere. Yes. It's a beautiful day to be doing it. Look, it is uh, very nice out here. The seas are still um, nice and flat, so it's pretty champagne to be honest. It's a, it's a good day on the water. We are 500 seconds from the equator. Woohoo! I know, very exciting. Looking forward to uh, crossing that line. It's just I, uh, coming up ahead of us. I hope Neptune shows up on time. Yeah, yeah, well we've uh, we've got him booked. Uh, his schedule was clear apparently, so uh, we're, we're expecting him to show up fairly soon, hopefully. Woohoo! We are now in the Northern Hemisphere and it is now officially winter. And I believe King Neptune has just arrived. Ah, let's go and have a chat. Let's do that. Crew of Double Trouble, you have today, Sunday the 1st of December, in the year 2019, crossed the equator. Do you understand what an honour this is? Yes, yes we, we do, do, King Neptune. Good. In order to transition from Bollywog to Shellback, you must offer me a gift. So, our gift to you, King Neptune, a drop of our finest vodka. 
Thank you for our safe passage across your oceans. And long may it continue. Cheers. Thank you. I secretly prefer a gin and tonic, but no matter. You must now immerse yourselves in my ocean. Right. Better do as uh, King Neptune says then, eh? Swim across the equator. Let's go for it. Congratulations! You are now Shellbacks! Ah, Northern Hemisphere! Cheers, Mr. B. Cheers. Welcome. To the Northern Hemisphere. The Northern Hemisphere, across the equator, eh? Yeah. I'm pretty strong for that. That's, that's a pretty good effort, Joe. Yeah? I think so. Yeah. We found it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> pretty hard to miss, really, with that big line. Yeah, that's true. I wonder who paints that. Some big brush. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment below. If you'd like to support our journey, please head over to our Kofi page and buy us a coffee. For real time updates, please check our Facebook and Instagram pages.